vlog just finish this gorgeous piece take a look at it did some earrings and some magnets with the leftover resin i'll come back in a couple of hours to do the back pour on this it's perfect and this one will be up for sale just finished my second pour of the day i did the back layer of this piece here then with the leftover resin i made earrings for my mom and the back pores of the magnets so yeah now i'm gonna eat lunch and then teach my two clients of the day and then take Abby to the beach finished teaching my two clients of the day we're here at the beach because i won't be able to come back down the beach until another week and a half after this weekend's vending, after next weekend's Vegas work week, and next weekend's flea market weekend. So it'll be probably 10 days from now when we can come back to the beach. So we're gonna head towards the pier. Heading towards the pier. Good job, babe. Perfect day at the beach. The piers are here. Everybody's out. Beautiful day. It's perfect today. Oh my goodness. So glad we finally got out of the house. Somebody parasailing that normally does not happen over here in Santa Monica. Playing like street hockey in the parking lot, skateboarding, roller skating, lots of activity. Santa Monica lifestyle. <laughs> All right, tonight's dinner Caesar salad. And um, I just put on a pot of rice because I still have chili left over. Uh, so if I'm hungry, I'll eat a small bowl later. Um, otherwise, that'll be tomorrow's dinner, my chili when I come home from vending. But I'm going to eat this and watch one of my favorite content creators and jump in the shower. It's 8 o'clock. I'm going to demold whatever is ready to come out. I definitely want to demold this so that I can see what it looks like. And I'll take it to the market tomorrow to have it up for sale. And we'll see when it sells. Here she is. She's perfect. Oh my goodness, I'm so proud of this piece. We'll get better um, video of it tomorrow in the sun, but it came out perfect. So this one is up for sale. So pretty. thing that I made this morning, demoted. Magnet stud earrings, earrings, keychains, magnets. I'm probably gonna turn this into a sun catcher. These are my new earrings and because I sold mine to a subscriber off my ears. <laughs> and then I made some magenta pink monster earrings. Look at how pretty this is. And then my mom's earrings. So cute. All right, 8.45. I just finished cleaning my stir sticks and cups. I'm going to do a small batch of earrings before I edit for the night and then go to bed. Right, a little gold moment. So I made my mom's Hamza earrings and then with the leftover resin, I just did different goldy things. Bookmarks, keychains, earrings. Vlog, I'm so tired. 9.23, I'm just eating a small little bowl of chili with my fresh pot of rice. The rest I have in the refrigerator. I'm watching the Raccoon Whisper. He's one of my favorite content creators. I always say that on the vlog channel. I actually got his book. I haven't sat down and, and read anything from it, but I'm really happy that I got his book and I watch him every day. So just watching his vlog for the day. And then I wanna end today's video with quote of the day. When I'm done eating this in the next five minutes, I'm just gonna edit 
one video if I can get through it for this channel and then I'm gonna go to bed. I have to get up at 5 in the morning to start my day and then the next day I have to get up at 2.45 in the morning to start my day for the Rose Bowl. So it's very long days, I need to get to bed. Today's quote of the day, make today so awesome that yesterday gets jealous. It's okay. And then today's other quote of the day, creativity is a wild mind and it and a discipline. Not that great. I'm all about creativity though. So that's it, I'm gonna sign off. Hopefully I'll get to bed within the next hour would be ideal. I don't know. I I did edit for like my resin Instagram account. I did a few videos. Uh, but anything for like YouTube, I was not able to edit because I had to teach my clients this afternoon. And I made three batches of resin today. So, because I know I'm just not going to be able to create any art until like 10 days from now. So I wanted to make sure that I did what I did today and then like in two weeks when I'm back in town and after the next two vending weekends I'll start making art again so that's gonna wrap up today's video hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me on another day in a life I tried my best to capture today um, even though if I was just working from home Abby's getting jealous because I'm talking to the vlog so I'll sign up here Abby John I know I'm coming Got the munchkin. You want to sign off with mommy? Say thank you to everybody for watching the vlog and that you enjoy going to the beach today because you were just sleeping in your bed all day and you didn't eat your breakfast. You ate it for dinner. And we'll be going back to Los Feliz Flea, which I haven't gone for two months because the last two times I was there, spaced out in two months increments, it was just not good money. So we'll see how tomorrow goes. And if, if it's not good money, then I'll just show back up in November after I'm back from Spain and Greece. So we'll pick it up tomorrow. Good night from Santa Monica, California. Quarter to six, I have my sandwich in the oven. My sandwich I've been eating just because I don't want to go grocery store. So I've been eating the same thing, mahi mahi with plantains. I'm going to demold these things. I'm going to do my makeup really quickly. And then I'm going to try to get a picture with me and my Hoyas that are in bloom before I teach my client of the day and then we are out of here. Also note to self pack treats for Evie. Hi honey, you gonna sit? Sit. Thank you Jesus for my food blessing make me strong. Amen. Good job. Hey eat no no you have to eat your breakfast. Cause you have to go to work with mommy today. Okay? Eat your breakfast. Thank you. Good girl. Ooh look at the gold. I think the next time I make letters it's gonna be in the gold theme. My new glitters, so pretty. Turned out perfect. Alright, so it is 7.30. Just finished teaching my client of the day. I am heading to the market. I have to be there at 8 for load-in. Uh, something changed since I last was there two months ago. They now have a separate parking lot for vendors, which is kind of a walk. So I'll figure that out or I'll try to look for it when I get there. And also, something that did change, I think the last two times I was there, is now you can pick your spot ahead of time. Um, and with my spot number, I can load in at 8. And then I think if you have a higher number in the back part of the market, then you load in second. So I'm glad like where I choose I can still come in at 8 because I need all the time I can get to set up because my boot takes very long to set up and then I can go and run to the bathroom and then hopefully do a walkthrough. Coming with your mommy? Yeah, you're gonna be a good helper. You ate your breakfast already. Good job. Where is everybody? I'm the third one in line and nobody's behind me and it's two minutes to Last eight. Last time I was here two months ago, there is a long line of people waiting to get in. So, 
but I know this market is is also busy with a lot of vendors and the parking lot for the vendors is super super far uh, they don't want you parking on the street anymore or parking in this lot right here so that's kind of a bummer Two things change and there's different places to load in now maybe another spot because there's not a lot of people there's only one person behind me two in front of me let's find the spot not much activity happening for this hour here at the market but everything is unloaded All right time to park cardio of the day almost there this is a far walk time check 8 20 i have 9 20 i have two and a half hours so that's good I'll be able to run to use the bathroom back where I came from in that first parking lot down those stairs and then hopefully do a walkthrough because it's been two months since I last been here so it'd be nice to see what other vendors are here all right here we go minutes let's do a walkthrough and go to the bathroom so here's the beginning of the market let's do a quick walkthrough as we go back all the way to the back 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 for the bathroom yeah. um, a lot of clothes vendors So here's me. Okay, let's go up this way and then when we come back for the bathroom, we'll go down the other way. Wow. This market is heavy on the clothes, which you guys know I love, but I also love to see makers. Wow, close. Mostly close. Oh, here's one plant vendor back here. Nice to see. Okay, let's go use the bathroom and then we'll finish up the rest of the walkthrough. All the way down here. I'm glad that load in is three hours before market because I'm able to run to use the bathroom, get the pictures I need and also to be able to share what's going on on the vlog. I really didn't have to use the bathroom because I went this morning when I got here, but I had to force myself to because I won't be going to the bathroom until it's time to go home. Let's do another walkthrough. What's going on on this end of the market? Lots of clothes, candles, antiques. This market is super heavy on the clothes. I 
I got me an iced latte for $5. Hopefully this doesn't have to make me too run to use the bathroom because I can't. Holy smokes, it's strong. Ooh. Wow. All right, it is so hot. It's in the high 80s. It feels like 100. Uh, so let's, let's get this day over with. At least see how today goes and it'll help me predict when I will be back at this market. So give this video a big thumbs up. I'm set up. Everything's ready to go. And I have my uh, table shaped like a big L. But we'll see. Maybe next time I'll do like, you know, tables one on each side and people can walk in and I'll be like in the back here. We'll see. I have an online sale with Hannah, one of my subscribers. Thank you so much for reaching out to me. She's going to be getting these two pairs of medium size earrings. This is the size I used in Tanzania. And she's going to get a custom keychain. So, I, in fact, I just made both of these recently. So let's add it on together. And then I'll ship this out Monday when I get to Vegas. Because it is Saturday. Go to the Las Vegas post office. Not my favorite post office, but it is what it is. It is so hot. I'm looking forward to cooler days for this market at least. It is like high 80s, but it feels like 100. And like setting up. Yeah. So cute. Okay, let's add another tassel. It's gonna look so cute. I'm also wearing the large size earrings. I'm wearing the green ones, but when I set up my new white ones, I'll switch them on. I like wearing the white because it brings out the white in my apron. But this is also one of the earrings I rotate when I bend. Alright. I think that's so cute. Take a look at this. So thank you Hannah, all the way in Louisiana and um, hopefully you didn't get affected by all of the natural disasters that's happening in your part of the world. But yes, great haul. My munchkin's hanging out. It's very hot. I'm gonna set up my mom's earrings, my earrings, and I'm gonna put these on. Back with white monster earrings. So if any of you guys come and like these earrings, you can always purchase it off of me. Um, but I was able to make another pair so it's not a problem and I've done that in the past I recently did that in Tanzania I did that with the Maasai women purchasing their beautiful tribal earrings um, but those are super super special um, my earrings are special too so anyway these are my new market earrings hi honey I know it's very hot I'm gonna be setting up these two sun catchers while I'm here at the market and then we'll go from there to see what else I can create for Rose Bowl tomorrow Good job, mommy's helper. Okay, here's my latest sun catcher with the Hoyas in here, along with my Cressula ovata and some ferns. So this one is up for sale. And I really like the way how it turned out. So pretty. Hi, here's my latest large monster earrings that I made yesterday. They're so pretty and up for sale. Right, status at 2 p.m. Mm, not the greatest. We'll see what the last three hours will be like. Here is the bookmark that I made last night. So pretty. This one is up for sale. All right, my new small earrings that I made yesterday. These are up for sale as well. I'm gonna turn this into a sun catcher. It's gonna be something different I've never done before. Here's the status of my moon star sun catcher I'm gonna add the other star on the bottom and more crystals but this market day is so slow right, here it is this one is done and a new design for me it came out perfect so this one is up for sale in the gold theme I made this last night with my leftover resin and then I don't know how I thought of this design but it's so so cute I like the way how that turned out so I'm gonna make another one in a different color to have options so I'm gonna go with this one because I try to remember when was the last time I made this like I don't know when I made this but 
We'll see if it sells when I do it into a sun catcher instead of a bookmark and two keychains. And my little munchkin hanging out. Finished my moon sun catcher that I was working on two days ago at the farmer's market. So this one is up for sale and again, never did anything like this before. I have a clear moon with the night blooming cactus and I take a look at how I made the charms and the crystals. So very different from anything else I've done and I, I'm like really happy that I'm still able to create different setups even though if I'm using the same mold and um, creating different things in the mold. So very happy about this and this one is up for sale. So I'm going to stop here and I'll add on to the bottom of these charms and on the top of the moon tomorrow at the Rose Bowl. At least I got this one started. Also that gold star moon sun catcher that I made I traded it for this kimono top which I'll try on at home after I shower so you guys can see with another vendor and she's gonna bring another kimono for me uh, because she also got a cactus piece so we traded two pieces and they're very lightweight so I'll probably take this on my next trip the market is done and I'm gonna go get my car and load up yeah I, I don't know when I'm gonna be back at this market because Money here is not good. I didn't even make my vendors fee back and I don't even know the last time that ever happened to me at any market. It's very rare. Uh, so yeah, at least I got a fun trade and I have two kimonos and she got two art pieces from me. One that I had a while ago and one I just created today. It's fine. So yeah, that's unfortunate. But I made a few sun catchers and it'll be ready for tomorrow, which is Rosebow, which is gonna to be totally opposite from today's market. It's gonna be so busy tomorrow. So it is what it is, but we'll see if and when I come back to this market because no, this is the third time in a row where I'm like, this was bad. Today was not good. Getting gas for a Rose Bowl and for the Vegas drive. It is $5.29 a gallon here. I swear that's, I don't know, a dollar something definitely more than Vegas. Yeah. Alright, it's 6.30. I'm going to photograph my new art that I set up today. So if it just gets sold tomorrow, I'm good to go for my Instagram account for my resin. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to take a picture with my Hoya Carnosa Crimson Princess before I harvest the blooms. And then I will switch the tables out because I'm going to take three six foot long tables to the Rose Bowl. I did that last month and it worked out for me. I'm going to grab these photos because the sun is going to set in an hour. So here is the beautiful Stapelia piece. I didn't take it with me today to the flea market. Um, but I will take it to the Rose Bowl tomorrow and this piece is up for sale. It's a large Stapelia bloom, beautiful ferns. It came out perfect. I'm so happy. Beautiful. Say hello to the last Hoya blooms for my Hoya Bella for this season. I'm going to harvest them now that I got pictures of it. So pretty. There she is. She's so beautiful. Alright, time to put them into silica gel. Okay, sun is going down and I wanted to try on the two kimonos because I want to see what I look like in it. And the sun is going down. After this, I will put in my third six foot long table and take a shower and eat dinner. So this is what it looks like and it goes all the way down to the ground. Oh my goodness. I don't know when I'm going to use this but I like it a lot. It's a one size, so pretty. It goes all the way down to the ground. It's like a, what would I wear under this? Probably, I mean, something probably fitted and short and then wear it with heels. And I could wear it to, dinner perhaps let's try on the other one so she got the new 
gold moon star sun catcher that I put together in glitter that I've made last night. And then she got one of my cactus bloom piece with gold flakes in it. So that was our trade. Here's the second one. And this thing comes with a tie around the waist if I wanted to, I guess, perhaps maybe use it as a dress or something. I could if I wanted to. But I'll probably end up just wearing it open like this. I like it because it's green and I'm a plant, crazy plant person. So yeah, what do you guys think about the fun trade? It's very free flow. I might take this one to my trip to Ibiza and Greece because I probably could wear this to like dinner. And I can wear black under it. So this will come with me to my next trip. So very fun trade. I'm glad she came up to me and I definitely don't mind trading with vendors if it's something of my interest that they're selling. And yeah, it was a fun trade. So I'm glad at least that happened because the sales, I didn't even make my vendors be back, which I don't want to talk about. But note to self, I won't be going to that market for a while. Um, but this was a very fun trade and I've never seen this vendor before, which was really nice. We have a crazy dog that just showered with her mommy. Good job today. You are the bestest helper today. Right, the last <laughs> of my Caesar salad. I'm going to have this for dinner. And then I have focaccia toast with vegan cheese in the oven. I'm going to eat that with this. And pour a small batch of resin and then go to bed. Goodness vlog. Alright, it's a few minutes after 9pm. I needed to do these earrings for my mom. And then I made like more resin that I knew I needed. Uh, so I could make like another moon star situation because I want to try to remake the one that I gave up for a trade today and then I did like olive green and silver so these will you know if I don't put it together tomorrow at the Rose Bowl it'll be for next weekend because next weekend I'm coming right back and going straight into vending Saturday Sunday so I won't be making any art next week so this is all of my new stuff for then well, i'm gonna wrap up the video here i know bad awful lighting but i'm glad i was able to do this i forced myself to do it i want to take the earrings back to vegas for my mom i have orders to ship out i have another order for my co-dancer she wanted uh earrings so i'm gonna bring that over as well but tomorrow is the rose bowl it's a very big important day for me i have to wake up at 2 30 and leave the house by 3 15 to get there i want to be there at least 10 minutes before 4 because there's going to be hundreds of vendors trying to get in at 4 and it's my first time being a permanent vendor so i'm looking forward to getting in there as soon as possible and trying to set up and let's see what time will be my first sale because i haven't been able to get in until like 8 something and then setting up and you guys already know how i feel about that so tomorrow's a very big day for me and a long day and ebby's staying home so i'm gonna have to make her breakfast at like 3 in the morning i feel really bad because she probably won't eat it but give this video a big thumbs up i'm very disappointed um in the market today again i like didn't make my vendors feedback i don't think i ever had that ever happened to me it was very slow. I was able to make a bunch of sun catchers and earrings, which is great. But I'm there to sell and make money. And it was just very slow there. I was there two months ago. Like, profit was not great. I was there two months before that. Profit was not that great. So that's why I'm not going there every Saturday I'm in town. And after today, like, I don't know. I want to say I want to go one more time before... The year ends for the holidays but we'll see about that i think next week saturday i'll come right back and do the bazaar and see how it is down there because it's also been two months because the last time i was there two months ago it was really bad so we'll see at least sundays is like my good days where i always make money and we'll see how the farmer market go on thursdays so that's the wrap of today's video i look awful i look tired and i need to try to get at least five hours of sleep for rose bowl so Hope you guys enjoy hanging out with me and 
tagging along for the day hopefully i was able to capture my day for the vlog as best as i could abby got to hang out with me but it was really hot today it was in the high 80s which is not good for vending like it felt like 100 degrees abby was hot i was hot but i did it and now i know i went i experienced it now i know in the future what i want to do with my saturdays so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me if you're new welcome to the channel subscribe for daily uploads between the main channel and the vlog channel you get a video each and every day also shout out to my subscribers who are purchasing online i fulfilled a bunch of online orders today thanks to you guys and i made more money doing that online than selling at the market today so i appreciate all of you and if you can't afford to buy anything online you can support me by watching the channels and subscribe liking the video and sharing the video. I will see you tomorrow. Good night from Santa Monica, California. Bye.